वेलकम फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न फूरियर सीरीज एक्सपांशन विथ जोमेट्रिकल मीनिंग We begin with the definition of Fourier series. Fourier series for twelve periodic function f x x belongs to C to C plus twelve is defined as f of x is equal to a zero by two plus sigma n equal to one to infinity a n cos n pi x by l plus b n sine n pi x by l, where a zero, a n and b n are called Fourier coefficient. And a zero is equal to one upon l integration c to c plus two l f x dx. A n is equal to one upon l integration c to c plus two l f x cos n pi x by l dx. And b n is equal to one upon l integration c to c plus two l f x sine n pi x by l dx. Example one Fourier series. Of f x is equal to x minus pi less than x less than pi. So first we are going to find the value of 2l. 2l is equal to upper limit minus lower limit. So upper limit of the interval x is a pi, and the lower limit for the interval of x is minus pi. So pi minus minus pi. So 2l is equal to 2 pi. Therefore l is equal to pi. And c is equal to minus pi. We begin with the a zero, the first Fourier coefficient. A zero is equal to one upon l integration c to c plus two l f x dx. If we put l equal to pi and c is equal to minus pi, we have one upon pi. C is equal to minus pi. Minus pi plus two pi is equal to plus pi f x dx. f x is equal to x so one upon pi minus pi to pi x dx. Since f x is equal to x is an odd function, and we are integrating odd function between the symmetrical limit minus pi to pi, then this integration has value zero. Therefore, a zero is equal to zero. The first Fourier coefficient has value zero. Now the second Fourier coefficient, a n is equal to one upon l integration c to c plus two l f x cos n pi x by l dx. So c is equal to minus pi and l is equal to pi. Substituting in the formula of a n, one upon pi minus pi to pi f x cos n pi x by pi dx. So this pi pi cancel. We have one upon pi minus pi to pi x. Cos n x dx. Since x is odd function and cos n x is an even function, so even into odd function is always an odd function. And odd function evaluating between the symmetrical limit, then this integration has value zero. So a n is also zero. Now we are going to calculate the Third Fourier coefficient b n equal to one upon l integration c to c plus two l f x sine n pi x by l. If we substitute the value of c and l, we have one upon pi minus pi to pi f x sine n pi x divided by pi. This pi pi cancel sine n x dx. f x is equal to x, so one upon pi minus pi to pi x sine n x dx. Since x sine n x as x is odd function, sine is also odd function. So x sine n x is also is an even function because odd into odd is always an even function. Now we are integrating even function between the symmetrical limit. We have this integration will be double two by pi integration zero to pi x sine n x dx. Now we recall the integration by parts method. Integration u v dx is equal to u v one minus u dash v two plus u double dash v three minus u triple dash v four, where v one, v two, v three, and v four are the successive integration of v. That means integration of v one is the integration of v, v two is the integration of v one, and v three is the integration of v two, v four is the integration of v three. 
now here we are applying integration by parts method when x is equal to u and sin nx is equal to v so in the integration by parts method u as it is so x as it is then take the integration of sin nx which is minus cos nx by n now in the second term take the differentiation of u so differentiation of x is 1 and the integration of minus cos nx by n with respect to x minus sin nx upon n square now integrate evaluate between the limit 0 to pi now substituting the upper limit x is equal to pi so pi minus cos n pi divided by n minus sin n pi divided by n square now substituting the lower limit x is equal to 0 so 0 into cos 0 divided by n minus 1 sin 0 divided by n square the value of cos n pi is minus 1 power n divided by n value of sin n pi is 0 value of 0 into anything will be 0 and sin 0 is 0 therefore the lower both the terms of lower term, lower limits are 0 therefore we have 2 by pi pi minus minus 1 power n divided by n this pi pi cancel therefore bn is equal to 2 minus 1 power n plus 1 divided by n. Now Fourier series f of x is equal to a0 by 2 plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n pi x by l plus b n sin n pi x by l where l is equal to pi. Therefore we have a0 by 2 sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n pi x by pi 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 cancel sin n pi x by pi 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 cancel we have a0 by 2 sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos nx plus b n sin nx. For f of x is equal to x, a0 is 0, a n is also 0 and b n is equal to 2 minus 1 power n plus 1 divided by n. Substituting the value in the Fourier series, x is equal to n equal to 1 to infinity 2 into minus 1 power n plus 1 divided by n sin nx. Now we are expanding the summation for n equal to 1 first term 2 into minus 1 power n plus 1 plus 1 so minus 1 square divided by 1 into sin x. So we have first term 2 is a constant so take out from this summation we have first term 1 upon 1 sin x. Now similarly for the second term put n equal to 2. So it is minus 1 power 2 plus 1 that means minus 1 power 3 is equal to minus 1 divided by 2 into sin 2x. Similarly for the third term 1 by 3 cos 3x minus 1 by 4 sin 4x and continue. So this is a Fourier series for f of x is equal to x when x between minus pi to plus pi. Now we are going to understand the geometry of the Fourier series. This is a graph of f of x is equal to x. Now, this is a Fourier series for f of x is equal to x. Now, we are approximating x with the first term of Fourier series. So, x is equal to 2 into sin x. Then, this curve y equal to fx is approximate with, with the this sine curve. Now, if we take first two term approximation, then this curve is approximate f of x is equal to more closer than the n equal to 1. Now if we take n equal to 3 that means approximation with the first three terms of the Fourier series then the graph of the Fourier series is more closer than the n equal to 2 and n equal to 1. For n equal to 10 it is very closer to the function f of x is equal to x if we take 100 terms Fourier series with the first 100 terms it is almost the same to the graph of f of x is equal to x that means it will give the almost the same value of f of x is equal to x 
so therefore this fourier series for f of x is equal to x minus pi to pi if we increase the terms of fourier series then the approximation is more closer to the value of function thank you friends thanks for watching if you learn from this video then like subscribe and press the bell icon of next gen math